I mean, you can see it all over the world. I mean, how fast was this South African variant? It was like boom, 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 bang. I mean, it's so frightening. This virus is so frightening because, you know, I've, I've always said it's a lethal warning. This is a warning. Now, I'm a faith-based guy, so I attribute the warning to a higher power. But even if you don't believe, if this were a biological occurrence that was worse, and I don't know, I mean, you have 800,000 dead in America. <laughs> pretty bad. Um, but you can imagine they could wipe out the world. You can wipe everybody out. It's like a science fiction movie. So recapping today, uh, I don't have any beef with uh, what President Biden did. Uh, the only thing he can do is encourage mass vaccinations. He did that. A lot of people don't like Biden that won't get vaccinated. And that's just the reality of life in America. What's up, everybody? Major Ty Richard O'Jet here. And I'm going to start this year off a little strange by agreeing with Bill O'Reilly. I know you guys are shocked, as am I, but he actually has a point. This virus has a capability to wipe out the globe, and it does. The Omicron variant is five times more contagious than Delta, and Delta was way more contagious than the original strand. We all know that another strand is likely to happen, and who knows how contagious this one will be. We can mitigate this by getting vaccinated, boosted, wearing a damn mask, yet we have a very large portion of our population that refuses because they say it infringes upon their freedom. That same population are the ones that are currently filling up our hospital beds and ICUs because you guessed it, they all have COVID. And I'm at a loss for words. What has driven people to believe that this virus is somehow their friend, that they should welcome it into their homes, into their lungs, and that it will be fine? I mean, after all, Joe Rogan beat it, right? I don't think that if you're a young, healthy person that you need it. A couple of things about Joe Rogan. He's relatively young and he's extremely healthy. He spends two hours a day working out and he even spends an hour in a cold tub. If you can do that, well, then go ahead and take your chances. But I'm done trying to convince you otherwise. Joe Rogan is a physical being. He's a trained martial artist and he has access to the best medical care in the world. You are not Joe Rogan and you are not Aaron Rodgers. If you are overweight, if you have any illnesses, if you have a history of diabetes or heart disease in your family, you are at an enhanced risk. So shut up and get the vaccine to save your life and the lives of your family members. Now, COVID is not going away, folks. It seems like it's here to stay. And as a country, we need to depoliticize the subject. It's not red versus blue, it's human versus virus. And I'm on team human. Across the globe, the virus is wreaking havoc on countries that don't have the same level of health care that we're blessed with in the United States. They don't have vaccines at every pharmacy, hospital, or clinic just waiting to be administered. If you want a vaccine and you live in America, you can get one within hours. Do you have any idea how many people across the globe would kill to have a vaccine right now? Do you you remember how terrified we were in the early stages of this pandemic, how we were all counting the days until the scientists delivered us a vaccine. At that time, no one was saying we're not going to take the vaccine if one becomes available. What happened? What changed America? Now I have my theories. Some far right fringe groups survive like viruses by stirring up controversy and turning Americans against their fellow Americans. These people are the scum of the earth and you guys know who I'm talking about. These people are all vaccinated and they don't care who lives or dies as long as they keep stirring the pot and getting paid. And I really hope that they pay for their actions. And I will end this video by applauding Bill O'Reilly for speaking the truth, at least when it comes to the vaccine. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.